It is NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. We're at Pepsi Center in downtown Denver. Tonight, it's the Denver Nuggets taking on the Houston Rockets. The opening tip is won by the Rockets. Nikola Jokic sends it away. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Jay Nikola Jokic, he's never made the playoffs, but upon further review, he is a special center. Got that five-year extension for $146 million, and I'm willing to say this, he will be one of the future centers in the game. It's Denver's ball. Knocks it down from mid-range. There's a natural tendency when you guard a right dominant hand player to send him left. But for a guy who's a good mid-range shooter, that's wrong. Hits the crossover, gets inside, and the slam dunk. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Here comes the screen. Quinn Capella rejects it. That'll get out. Last touch by Capella. Shot clock coming down to four, down to three. Murray to the basket, but it won't go. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs, wondering where the foul was every time. And that footwork was absolutely off the charts. Just that space, splash. Murray with the basketball. 8-2, our score. To Jokic. Nothing going here on that drive. Jokic buries it. Ooh, welcome to the new reality. Positionless basketball. Bigs are now PGs with the ability to drain threes. We get a whistle and a timeout for Houston as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. Looks like both teams are making sub substitutions. Done. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist.
free throw good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Here comes the screen. Curling inside, he got a piece. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Four three, and the rebound comes down to the Rockets. Deep three at the buzzer. First quarter's complete with the Rockets in front. After a close first quarter, Jay, what stood out? Well, both teams had their rhythm. They established the tempo that they wanted to play at. But ultimately, something has to give. Some team has to draw a line in the sand. The screen sets him up for two. I don't know what. And a chance at three coming up. So many times we get on the defender for quote unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Good to finish off the three-point play. It's back to a five-point game. Deep three at the buzzer. Good. A three at the buzzer. Everything going right so far as they've extended the lead. That's it for the first half. The Nuggets. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Nuggets with the basketball. Oh, yeah, me and you, me and you. Sizing up the defense. To Jokic. Oh, Nikola Jokic. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as a difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive. But when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want it. They go to Jokic, down low. Quinn Capella, huge block. Oh, he blocked that with authority. And throws it down. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. That's off the side of the rim, no good. Leaves his man in the dust and finishes at the rim. Ooh, I'm telling you from experience, his teammates will never let that one down. To Jokic. Here comes the screen. Jokic. Good. Off a spin. We got to tell our producer in the truck, you got to tag that highlight. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. We have both squads set to make some moves right now.
throw is good to cap off the three-point play. And the lead is down to three. Denver ball right now. To Jokic. Nothing going here on that drive. Not that time. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough. Stuffs it down with authority. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. To Jokic. Here comes the screen. Jokic. From the painted area, won't go down. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. Neither side is giving up an inch. I guarantee you tomorrow on Complex's social feed, that play will have millions of views. And I'm really looking forward to this fourth quarter because the first three have lived up to the billing. He takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. No doubt about where that one was headed. Nikola Jokic ah, tips it. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Ah, the monster stuff. And no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Off the assist. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Houston takes over. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a prob city. From 18 feet, at the buzzer, almost, but no good. That ends the third quarter. The Nuggets in front. It's the Rockets in control of the basketball as we start the fourth quarter. We've got a one-possession game going on. This has the look of a race that's going down to the wire. And it looked that way from the very beginning, but this is where the coaches and the best players on the floor really earn their money down the stretch. It's game time. Murray with it. His guys now trailing by a point. Down low, Jokic. Not that time. Stuffs it down with authority. Mm, I know that was a nasty play, but sometimes as a defense, you can't even let the play get to that point. Put that guy on his back, stare at him, send a message that nothing's happening in the paint. I oh, can't miss those. Missed a short one there. Murray into the front court. His guy's down three. Here comes the screen. And counted at the rim. The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost him. And count the basket. Look at that, calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys rush those. Nice extra move there. Now the Nuggets, signaling for timeout. That's their first. Leaves them with one remaining the rest of the way. I know the fans didn't get a chance to hear this during the break, but the coaches are wearing a mic for the broadcast. I heard a lot of arguing inside the huddle. It lets you know that the intensity level is pretty high going into the fourth.
coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Jamal Murray guarded by Clint Capella. To Miles Bridges. Shot clock to four for the Nuggets. Clint Capella! Oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Yeah, they're lucky they get the ball back. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. to connect on the free throw. Denver's got it. To Jokic. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. He engulfed him that time. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. End to end on that one. 94 feet for the basket. It's almost like he had the defender on a string. And he's the puppet master. <laughs> and the Rockets clear the board to Jalen Brown. Oh, ferocious slam inside. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish to Jokic. Quinn Capella with a piece. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. It's a three-point play, and that just might put this game out of reach. Now a whistle and a timeout for Denver. They're down big in this fourth quarter, and a chance here to empty their bench. Jokic, Capella's on him. Oh, Nikola Jokic. Oh, three for eight. He's got to do better. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Nuggets have the possession. Takes stock of the floor. To Miles Bridges. Fires the three, and that's rebounded by Houston. Got him. Good 
dumps you down with authority. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. It's the Rockets who are victorious as they win this one handily. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Taylor Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Rockets added a win with today's solid victory. And these are the kind of highlights I love to see. Check out the defensive effort that turns so many shots into really embarrassing moments. Check out the leading scores for the Houston Rockets. Player of the game. And what we have here are highlights worth a thousand words. There's no question he stood out amongst the rest in today's matchup.